And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. All right, you wanna see something cool? Here is Dice Town. Now watch, when I put this box together, the expansion box, it's like they're one big picture. Ho, ho, okay. But that is the picture of this. Now, if you've watched my review of Dice Town, you know that I think Dice Town is a spectacular, fantastic, fun, party-ish style game of rolling dice. And just It's a great game. Ladies and gentlemen, this expansion, you need it to have that whole picture. Well, you, if you like Dice Town, you need this expansion. Adds another player, but more importantly, adds a ton of options that I will never play without this expansion now. It is a fantastic, certainly am I running for best expansion of the year so far. Let's look at what this adds to the game. Expansion adds a six player. Yay, adds more gold nuggets, more money, more things in general. But that is not the biggest thing. Although, hey, you know, for a six player, I'm glad it's a six player game because it should be. But the biggest change in this game is that now at each of these locations, and I'm, you know, here we have one, two, three, four, five, there's six different locations to go to. At each location, there are now two things to go to. Whoever has the highest amount of in each location picks which of the two actions they would like to do and then the second highest picks which well they take the leftover one now this means the sheriff has double time duty because he gets to decide ties and with there being six more things there's quite a bit more ties so you've already seen my regular review I hope and you already know the main actions I'm just going to talk about the secondary actions so first let's talk about the gold mine and the gold mine you can take gold nuggets but you can now also take a card from this deck, which could be all kinds of things. Here it could be three gold nuggets. Here it is two gold nuggets. It can go up to five gold nuggets. A card of my choice. A wallet where I found two bucks. I get the sheriff's badge. I get a card from the general store. Yay, for five gold nuggets. But there's also the chance of finding nothing. So it's kind of a, a luck you draw there. I like it. That's good. Second location, you can rob the bank like normal, or you can go to the stagecoach, and for each 10 of hearts that you've rolled, you take $1 from the stagecoach, which really changes the game up, because if this is robbed and robbed well, then there's not going to be as much money in the bank. So sometimes it's better to rob the stagecoach than it is to rob the bank. Third thing, general store. You can take a general store card like normal, and in fact, there's several new general store cards that have been added to the game. I want to show a couple of them. Look at this sucker. No longer is that horse the only big card in the game. Now there's a seven point and a six point card. That kind of evens things up. There's even cards that give you points for other things you have, and several other new cards that were included in the game. So great. The other thing you can do at the general store is you can take the Doc Bad Luck action. What? Yeah, you can take the Doc Bad Luck action. In fact, I should mention that every character now has a Doc Bad Luck action card. So this tells you what the actions are that you can do. If you win anything or the second place winner in anything, turn your card over. That way we know by the time we get to the Doc Bad Luck section at the end, we know that you do not deserve it. But if you've won it, if you've won nothing, this card will still be face up in front of you at the end. So that was a good addition. At the saloon, you can still steal cards like normal, or you can rehire an outlaw, top outlaw card from the deck here. If you notice, this guy here has two ten of hearts on him, while this gentleman here has two jacks. Okay, now what that means is, you put these cards in front of you, and you can use them whenever you want. When you roll, I can say, hang on, before I roll, I would like to say that two of my dice automatically become jacks. Now this is really useful, especially if you already have two jacks, because you can really pull off some really cool rolls when you do that. So you can use them. Once you've used them up, they go up here to the want it section. What is the want it section, you might ask? Well, that's over here in the sheriff. You can take the sheriff card like normal, or you can try and capture one of the outlaws up here. For each king that you have rolled this turn, you roll dice. And if you match any of the symbols on any of these guys, you can take them. You put them in front of you, and at the end of the game, they have a value that they're worth. Town Hall. 
Well, there's a couple things we want to mention here. First of all, does this card look new? Why, yes it is. There's now 10 ranch cards in the deck. Each ranch card is worth points depending on how many you have. So to get all 10 is pretty much the game for you. But And one is worth only one point. But they can go up in value very quickly. So those have been added to the deck. And again, you can take the top one or maybe more depending on what a good poker hand you've rolled. Or you can just take the top card of the deck. Which sometimes could be useful, especially when there's a bunch of garbage face up here. So that's the new double actions that have been added. One more thing has been thrown in. There was a small expansion, the Indian die. That was given out earlier, it's been included in this expansion. Whoever wins this one can give one of their lands back to the Native Americans if they wish. And if they do so, they get the Indian die. Usually they give up a garbage one, a one or a two. If they don't do it, the second place, second highest poker hand can do it. Then you simply roll this die at the beginning of the next turn, and whatever you roll, you'll get a, a bonus. For example, this one here lets me take one of the sides of my dice and put it wherever I want to. An ambush, I can force an opponent to re-roll a die. A bodyguard, nothing can be stolen from me. Uh, the warpath, I can put this on any of the sections and no one can take the actions that section uh, the next turn. So that's a really interesting thing and it adds a lot. So there's all kinds of neat things that have been added in this expansion. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. I love the fact that the sheriff is now powerful. Being able to pick ties between people. The Indian die is neat because it adds a little bit of variety. And you can really, it adds a little bit of eye in your face. The outlaws are fantastic. Uh, the fact that there's two choices of everything. I, I like it. There's just so much going on now. And it makes the initial rolling even more interesting. But it also makes it so that you're not sitting there each time saying, Ah, oh, got stiffed again. Uh, I'm not going to get anything here. No, you're almost always going to get something on every turn. Um, Doc Bad Luck being an optional action. There's just so much to like about this. It's just more of the same, but they really did a good job of almost doubling the fun of the game. So if you have it, like I said, get this expansion. No question. I'm telling you, get it. Um, well, that's all I have to say. Great! Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.